What is going on YouTube? Long time no see. Today we will be doing another YouTube video reaction. In a video by Jerry Rig Everything, he tests the new iPhone 15 compared to the old iPhones. In the new iPhones, they use titanium. In the old iPhones, they use aluminum. Jerry tests these two metals head to head in the new iPhone to see which one has a better durability. If you guys like videos like this, please be sure to leave it with a thumbs up and follow me for more content like this. Well, I've been talking enough, guys. Let's jump right into this. I actually haven't like looked at the new iPhones much. Um, the only big thing that stands out to me is that they're using a new metal and like the commercials say something about like, I don't know, using titanium or something. Today we're going to be durability testing the new aluminum iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 plus. We already know the uh, iPhone 15 pro max didn't survive. May it rest in pieces. I get a lot of questions of how I prepare. Wait, did he say the new aluminum? I thought the new aluminum iPhone 15. I thought that the new iPhones were titanium. One super easy way to tell if your iPhone is real or genuine and not a sneakily sealed up box with a brick in it is with a sweet little hologram thing that what? Apple added to the sticker of each box. I didn't know you could do that. 100% invisible to That's the pretty neat. Eye. You'll have to have a UV flashlight to see it, which aren't too expensive. Or, you know, just buy your phone from somewhere or someone reputable. This you is could my just first do that, time yeah. seeing That'll the sense. new aluminum iPhone 15 lineup. And I gotta say, these aren't so much colors as they are just different shades of white. Apple says this is green, but... Well, I kind of dig that color. Is he shitting on that color? I, kinda, I think that looks sweet. Looks like mint chocolate chip ice cream. But I say it's what we'd get after putting five potatoes and a green bean in a blender. Got a braided USB-C cable though, which is nice. Thank you. This is either. Oh, now they're giving braided USB-C USB cables, huh? About time they did that, man. The, the, the phones that they were, the, the cables that used to give out with phones were ridiculous. It would last you a couple months and then they were done for. And then they start, and then they went through a period where they stopped giving you cords at all. Like, what are you supposed to do? Like, <clears throat> Apple. Either what smartphones are going to look like in heaven or the first blade of grass you see after getting hit with a flashbang. Jokes aside, the iPhone 15 does feel incredibly good. I can't quite it, describe it, but it looks holding great. it in my hand gives me the same wow vibes that I got for the first time holding an iPhone 4, way back in the day. The super flat glass leading right up to the contoured aluminum frame. I genuinely approve of these design tweaks. I almost scratched it. That would be embarrassing. Plus, the USB-C port is just bringing the whole world together and is perfect. Why is it? I'm being... What are they? Ner yeah, he's but far too clumsy today. I apologize. USB C, isn't that what? Why is it bringing the world together? That's what they had on the old phones. Apologize. We better move on before something happens to this phone. Oh yeah, I am that something. Apple has their own proprietary glass called Ceramic Shield. We see plastic scratch at a level two or three, glass at a five or six, and sapphire at a level eight or nine. Okay. And after working our way up through. <coughs> it's kind of neat how this guy like knows these things like the like the durability of the glass and stuff and he tests them with different materials that's kind of neat the most scale of hardness on this iphone 15 i just can't say it this time if i squint my eyes and really struggle i can make out some tiny marks at level six and scratches at a level seven which i know doesn't quite have the same ring to it but I mean, you can see for yourself, oh, Apple's yeah. glass is definitely more scratch resistant than Android glass. Yeah, but Ceramic it still scratches. With all of its crystal infused buzzwords is actually an improvement over regular tempered glass. So thumbs up for that. The 12 megapixel. So I guess it is a little bit better, huh? Front facing camera is tucked up into the massive dynamic island, which technically we can make fun of all day long. But at the same time, the Apple engineers have worked some pretty awesome features into this thing. How? The hairline gate. I'm over here on my Android phone, checking my email five times as I walk down the terminal because I have the memory of a goldfish, and Apple just has it displayed. I'm just saying I'm a little jealous, but only sometimes. It looks like Apple again. Oh! Invincible five that noise, man. How can you do that to a phone? G adamantium antenna oval. Oh, come on. That's and fucked the up. the anodized aluminum scratches pretty easy, including the power button. 
Apple doesn't specify which series of aluminum they're using this time around. It could be 6 or 7,000 series. I'll see if I can get it fluorescently scanned with x-rays and dang man the video soon. So okay, we sure get the we get the point, man. The, the USB-C port is USB 2, which is just as fast at transferring <sighs> data as the this. previous lightning port. This phone is colored like a four-year-old who ran out of food dye during an Easter egg contest. He's shitting on the coloring. I think the colors look actually kind of sick. I do really like the feel of the matte finish, though. Apple tried to tell us that there are three cameras up here during their event, but any four-year-old without food coloring could easily tell us there are only two. The lower is a 48 oh, yeah. pixel main camera lens. Apple says the sensor is big enough for a 4X crop, turning the main lens into an optical telephoto. But if you're only using a fraction of the... Dude, this gives me the f the dang willies watching him throw a, a blade on a camera like sensor, that. Sensor, is it still considered optical? Personally, I'd say no. Man. A 12 megapixel wide angle camera up top, which I guess, according to Apple's math, is a 12x optical if you crop to one megapixel. Son of a bitch. One of the Apple designers probably mowed his lawn and then... This is painful to watch, Apple man. This is really hard like, to watch. That's the color Fire? The next iPhone. On the front of the phone, we have 6.1 inches worth of 2,000 nits, Super Retina, XDR, HDR, and as we can tell by the white dot burning into the screen, OLED. I would have gone longer, but the app started quivering, and I am merciful. Sometimes. <laughs> Finally, at least he's got some feel. structure and rigidity that most phones do survive, the bin test. For some reason, the iPhone 15 Pro Max just didn't make it. We'll start with the same position as we did with the Pro Max. No. We'll the back. And nothing. We're off to a good start. Don't or do a it. Bad start depending on what you're here for. The screen kind of stopped working for a bit, which is strange. But after a quick flick on and off, it came back to life. Continuing the bin from the front. No. Again, nothing. This sun bleached skittle. You can see it start to bend, though. I don't know why it says nothing. You can see that thing start to bend. Lives the bin test. <coughs> Enter the iPhone 15 Plus with Essence of Blue. It wasn't the smaller of the Pro phones that broke, it was the larger. So huh? it's only fair that we also bin test the larger 15 Plus as well, which has the exact same features as the 15. There are quite a few reasons why a phone could break. Microscopic imperfections in the materials, flaws in casting or milling, consistent manufacturing is extremely difficult especially with so many different puzzle pieces oh, that have hold to fit on. together precisely. And just because one phone breaks doesn't necessarily mean that it they all will. I mean, you I could mean, see it start might, to. They also might not. Lucky for Apple and this freezer-burned iPhone 15 Plus, no amount of bending from the back or the front causes any damage. All that right. means three of the four new iPhones from Apple. A bend test. Like, what, what's, the what's, what's, the, what's the application here, practical application? Like if someone sits on their phone, I suppose? Survive my durability test. Thanks for subscribing, and thanks a ton for watching. I'll see you around. I I thought that... Huh. I thought that I thought that there was something about titanium in these new iPhones. Maybe there's something I'm missing. Maybe there's another model. I, I know they, they like to come out with new models every now and then. But uh, it's me, dude. Didn't they always have USB C's? Or not always, at least like I thought mine did. I don't fucking know. You're not a big I, I thought the color looked sick. It reminded me of like a like an old Volkswagen like van or something, you know what I mean? Like a hippie van. I thought it looked dope. See, I can't be no. Nah, I can't be I can't be Android. I can't get behind it. I, I get the appeal, I get the sex sex appeal for some people. It ain't there for me, dude. But it is a waste of money. I, I like I've got I've got like an X, I think. I haven't got a new phone in like four years. Why would I get a new one, you know? Fuck that. I I don't understand people who are like who need to get the phone the new phone every single year. That's a waste that's a waste of money. The phone's fine if you got it two, three, four years ago. I don't get the approval for iPhone. Hey, well, teach their own, alright? Teach their own. <laughs>